Hey, and welcome to part 7 of this Django tutorial series. Today we're going to prepare the cart so we can add and remove things from there. We're going to make a class so it's easier to keep track of the content. So first we can begin by creating a new Django app. So you need to go to your command line and then run python manage.py start app and then the name which is cart and hit enter. Then we need to register this with Django. So you need to go to settings.py and add cart to the list of installed apps. Great. So now that we have this, Django knows that this exists and we can go to the to-do list and set the first task to done. Next step then is to create a new class for the cart. Before we start adding things to this, I want to just add two more variables to the settings.py file. So go back to this again. And the first thing I want to set is then session cookie age to 86 400. And this is how long the objects will be put in the cart before they are automatically removed. And we also need to set one more variable called cart session ID. You can set this to cart or whatever you want. It's just a way to separate this session ID from other sessions if you're going to use that. Perfect. Then we can go back to cart.py again. Next step then is to create a new class for the cart. So inside the cart app we create a new file called cart.py. First I want to import one thing from Django so we can access the settings variable. From django.conf import settings. And then I want to import the product database model. So from product.models import product. And then we can begin with the class. Class, cart, and then in here we pass in something called the object. I want one method for initializing this. So def underscore underscore init. And then we pass in self and the request to so have access to this. And then I want to set the session for this cart object. So to do that, we say self.session equals request.session. So now this cart has this available if you need to use it in another method. And then I create a new cart object by saying cart equals self.session.get. And then we use the cart session ID, which we set in the settings.py file. And then below here we can check that if the cart is created or not, or if it is there or not. So if not cart, then we create a new instance inside the session variable. So self session, and then we pass in settings.cart session ID and set this to be an empty dictionary. And then below here we say self.cart equals cart. That means that now we can use this cart in the other methods for this class. Next, I want one method which we are going to use when we iterate through the product in the cart. So def underscore underscore iter underscore underscore and then I pass in self. And then here I want to loop through the keys which is the ID for the products. So for p in self.cart.keys then we use self.cart and then we want to stringify the ID so we can access that variable inside the dictionary of keys. And then we set a new variable on that object product and then we use the product.objects.get by using the primary key to get this from the database. So now every time that we use the cart, we also loop through and make it easier to access the cart from the database. Sorry, the product from the database. I also want one method for checking the length of the, of the cart. So we can see how many items we have in the cart. So def len and pass in self. And then we just say return sum, which means that we sums up all of this. Item quantity for item in self.cart.values. So for each item in the cart, we check which what the quantity is and then we sum it to get one variable. Next step is to create a save method. So every time we do a modification to the cart, we want to notify the browser or the server that something happened with the session. So def save. And then in here we say self.session and then we use the cart session ID. And 
and we now set it to self.cart. And we also want to set self.session.modified equals true so that, that the session has been updated for the user. And then we have two more methods we want to add here. If this is a little bit overwhelming, I'm sorry about that, but, but it will probably make much more sense when we start adding things to the cart and using this class in other places. So let's create a new method for adding things to the dev, now adding things to the cart. Def add, now we need to pass in self, the product ID we want to add, the quantity, which is at default to one, and then update quantity, which is at default to false, because we want to use this for updating the cart as well in the cart when we do that. And then in here, we first want to get the product ID and stringify it, so we have that, because when it's string, it's much easier to get it from the self.cart. And then below here, we check that if product ID not in cart, that means that we haven't added this to the cart yet. And then we want to do that by saying self.cart, and then we pass in the product ID as the key. We set the default quantity to one. And then the ID to product ID. And then below there, we can check that if update quantity, that means that we want to increment or decrement the number of quantities, the quantity in the cart. And to do that, we can set self.cart, and then we use the product ID to access it, and then quantity. Now we just say plus equals, and then we convert the quantity to an integer in case it's not. And also inside this if, we want to check that if the quantity is zero, that we want to remove this from the cart. So then we just call self.remove and we use the product ID. The product ID, no, sorry, the remove method is what's coming next. It's just before we go there, we want to call self.save so that we update the session. And then the last method, which is the remove method, def remove and here we pass in self and product ID. And then we can see if product ID in self.cart, then we want to delete it del self.cart and then we just pass it in as a key. And then we also call self.save so we update the cart session. Great, now we have a class we can use for adding and removing things in the cart. We can also check the length and, it makes, make, and we also make it easy to access the products. So then we can set this task done. And we can go to the last task for this part, which is to make the cart globally available. Because we want to make it easier to get the quantity and similar up in the menu, in the cart, on the product pages and similar. And to do this, we create something called a context processors. So inside the cart app, we create a new file called context underscore processors.py. And then we want to import the cart class we just created from dot cart import cart. Now we create a new function here, def cart, where we pass in the request. And then we just return a dictionary with cart and then a new instance of the class where we pass in request. So now this should be available everywhere. We just need to update something in the settings.py file as well. So if you go into that file, scroll down to templates, and then at the end of context processor, we add cart.contextProcessor, which is the class, no sorry, the file we just created, dot cart, which is the method we just created. So now this should be available everywhere. And that was it for this part. Hope you liked it, and if you did, please leave like below. And also leave a comment if you have any questions. See you in the next video.